Have you ever woken up in the middle of the night, unable to move a muscle? You try to scream, but no sound escapes your lips. Panic starts to set in as you're stuck, completely paralyzed. This terrifying experience is called sleep paralysis, and it's actually more common than you think. So, what's going on here? During sleep paralysis, your brain is stuck between sleep and wakefulness. Your body is still in REM sleep mode, where your muscles are paralyzed to prevent you from acting out your dreams. But your mind is wide awake, aware of the terrifying situation. Well, here's the shocking truth. This in-between state can actually bridge the physical and spiritual realms. Some people report seeing shadowy figures or feeling a heavy presence on their chest. While it can be scary, it's not necessarily a bad thing. Now, here's the key to breaking free from this sleep paralysis nightmare. Instead of freaking out, focus on taking a deep breath. Holding your breath forces your body to awaken, snapping you back to reality. It's like an anchor grounding you back to the physical world. Remember, fear feeds the experience. So next time this happens, know that it's just a temporary glitch. Take a deep breath, hold it for as long as you can, and feel yourself grounding back into your body. Think of it as a little spiritual adventure. You're experiencing a unique in-between space, and with a little focus, you can navigate your way back. Once you're back in control, take a moment to appreciate the feeling of being safe and sound in your own body. Now exhale that breath and drift back to sleep, feeling empowered and ready to face the night, or whatever awaits you when you wake up. The truth is, sleep paralysis might feel like a terrifying experience, but with a little knowledge and the right technique, you can navigate it with ease. Remember, it's just a temporary glitch in your sleep cycle, not a sign of anything sinister. Like this video? Hit that like button and let me know in the comments if you've ever experienced sleep paralysis. Share this video with anyone who might find it helpful, and let's keep the conversation going. Can you guess what the most powerful frequency to leave the human body is? Because it is not what you think, and nope, it's not the love frequency. Shocking, right? Because everyone is going to assume that it's love, right? So. There's this study or project called the Spain Scale of Emotions, where 25,000 people were gathered and put in a room, and scientists measured the energy and frequency they were giving off to such accuracy that they could compare anger to despair, passion to elation. Like, that's how specific they could get on this. Now, drumroll please, the heavyweight champion of frequencies coming out of our very own selves is authenticity. Yeah, you heard that right. Being real, being you, is 4,000 times more powerful than love. Can you wrap your head around that? Love is super important, don't get me wrong, but to hit the jackpot of authenticity, you gotta travel through love land first. Authenticity is all about speaking your truth and standing by your words. Imagine just being yourself and that's your superpower. Authenticity is when your words are truthful and you believe what you say. So get out there today and be authentic. Of course love, always love, but we want to make sure that you are loving from a place of authenticity not from a place of trying to gain other people's love or attention, but by just being yourself and staying true to yourself and who you are. Now, being authentic isn't about fishing for compliments or hogging the spotlight. It's about being so comfortable that it radiates stronger than any love frequency out there. So today, why not ditch the masks, be your true self, and watch the magic happen? We need to create the emotional and the mental internal freedom first by having the courage to unapologetically be ourselves. Only then can we be a full expression of ourselves. How has being true to yourself changed your energy or relationships? Share your stories of authenticity with me in the comments. Like and follow for more videos like this. How long do you need to listen to healing frequencies before they start working? Well, let me break it down for you. Because when it comes to healing frequencies, the experience is as unique as you are. I'm David Wong, and I specialize in tapping into the power of sound to enhance well-being. You might think using healing frequencies is like pressing a button on a remote and waiting for an instant fix, but it's not that straightforward. It's more personal and requires a bit of intuition. These frequencies aren't magic spells. You can't just hit play, kick back, and expect your life to transform overnight. Or can you? Well, sometimes it might feel just like that. I've got loads of stories from people who've experienced incredible shifts. For example, someone might tune into 741 hertz and suddenly feel as if their voice has been unleashed from years of confinement, or take 639 hertz, which many describe as feeling like being enveloped in a profound, all-encompassing love. It's these kinds of experiences that make working with frequencies so fascinating. Here's my key piece of advice. Listen to your body and your emotions when you use these frequencies. How do they make you feel? If you find a frequency that feels soothing, like a gentle embrace for your soul, why not indulge a little longer? On the other hand, if something feels off, 
trust your instincts, and stop. The most important thing is to trust yourself and your own reactions. Healing frequencies offer a spectrum of experiences, from quick pick-me-ups to deeper, more transformative sessions. You set the pace and duration. There's no strict rule book here. You're free to explore these sounds as long as you need, whether it's for a few minutes or an extended session. And let's not forget the variety available. There are countless frequencies designed for everything from boosting your energy to deepening your meditation. Each one has the potential to uniquely support and rejuvenate you depending on what you're seeking at that moment. Now, I'm really curious to hear about your experiences. How long do you listen to these healing frequencies and what changes do you notice? Do you have a favorite frequency? Share your journey in the comments below. I love hearing about how these tools are making a difference in your life. Remember to like and follow for more.